Grace and peace to you from Grace and Peace to You Nuggets here in Lexington, Virginia. Second week of doing my own video to post because after a five year presence on Facebook Live, they decided that I didn't have a long enough presence. Go figure. But anyway, God is good. He is risen. And as followers of Christ proceed to say, He has risen indeed. Thank God Almighty. That's the reason that we follow Christ is because he died on a cross, was buried, and rose on the third day so he could provide atonement for our sin. And so that through him, we could truly live the life that we were created to live. And that's why I share my message is because, because he lives, I live. I have been pardoned from my great sin and have been given a new lease on life and if someone has experienced that how would they not want to share that with those around them so my message to you today uh, stems from two things that happened this week imagine that I like to share stories but before I go further let me pray father help us to understand your ancient truth the word that became flesh, dwelt among us, and chose to die one of the most cruel deaths, even to the point of being separated from you because of the sin stain that was supernaturally imparted upon his shoulders. Lord, help us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, this week... <clears throat> I was slowing in the process of fixing a picnic table. I had, was given it uh, from some friends nearby because it was starting to rot in places. So I took care of all the rotten places and fixed it. And I've had it for about two years. And one of the places that I had not repaired had started to rot. And it was a crucial place because it, it's at an intersection where some support beams cross over so my son sat down on it and it started to bend toward that side that it was rotten so it was a simple fix I still have to do a couple things because my drill ran out I have to make sure the screws gone all the way through properly but it's intact right now because I simply changed out a rotten board a cross board where the two support beams were coming across and attaching to that board is not rotten and I'm going to preserve it with a stain the waterproof stain and it should last for a while and that which was going to be thrown away has been preserved years later because rotten pieces have been changed and renewed and that's what happens in a life that is saved by Jesus Christ our rotten heart that is desperately wicked and who can know it is what Jeremiah the book of Jeremiah says is transformed is renewed so that our lives can be renewed because it was rotten in the state that we were in that I was in with this disease called sin and because the Lord has given a new heart and transformed taking the rotten one out even though I still have bad habits, he has renewed me and is renewing me. This scripture is so true. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, what does in Christ mean? That means that you have confessed with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and you've believed in your heart that the God of the universe has risen him from the dead. Anyone who confesses with your mouth and believes in your heart that Jesus Christ was risen from the dead and is your Lord and Savior can be saved. That's what being in Christ means. It means being sealed by Christ because you have simply 
believed in faith by grace through faith have you been saved and this is not a work by yourselves it is all the work of Jesus Christ on the cross who defeated hell and death because that's why he came to present you faultless before God Almighty he who knew no sin became sin for you so that we might become the righteousness of having a right standing with God. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. That rotten stuff is gone. Old things have passed away. And look, another verse says, Behold, new things have come. And the Greek means new things have come definitely right now in the present and also in the future they are becoming so we are brand spanking new just like that great smell of leather when it's fresh and we are becoming even more new because we are in christ that's the hope we have and if that hope is not true we are as paul said to be the the most pitiful people in the world but the truth is, the resurrection is real. And everyone who's ever tried to refute it and actually done the work has come around and turned around to see that it's the truth. So, my friend, if you're a skeptic, go ask the Lord, I know that you don't believe in, to show himself as you try to research and prove him wrong. The God of the universe wants you to know him and wants to be known. And he went to the absolute nth degree to show and demonstrate his love towards you on the cross. Now, what else did I experience this week? Well, I lost my Garmin watch. And there's a, a race coming up at work and I... I have to start training for it for some prizes and stuff. So it's kind of freaking out. I got used to having this thing on me and doing my steps, you know, I'm running and, and working and uh, I couldn't find it anywhere. I listed my kids to try to find it and it was like, it just like a gremlin found it and ate it. And uh, after much time and research and search, finally found it it was in a dark corner of a place where i'd got my belt to put on it, it for work and it was blended in and camouflaged and you know what i had become that this watch had become so dear to me that i was basically willing to do anything to find it well guess what the treasure is you and the treasure is me and God Almighty has done everything in his infinite power to not only become a man, but also to die in our place because of our grave sin and habitual sin. That he has did everything imaginable, orchestrated an elaborate rescue mission because you are his treasure and he will do anything so that you may be found you and I may be found and Matthew 13 puts it rather well 1344 Jesus is saying this the kingdom of heaven is like treasure the kingdom of heaven is like treasure buried in a field then a man found and reburied. Then his, then in his joy he goes and sells everything he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. When he found one priceless pearl, he went and sold everything he had and bought it. The God of the universe has went to no expense. to make sure his treasure, which is you and I, are found. And that is incredible. 
Remember, he loves you so much that even before we were created, before anything was created, he had a plan to save us because he knew, because he's outside of time, he knew that we would screw up and he wanted to make sure that we would be able to experience the life that he had created us to experience. Let that sink in and I pray that you find out that you are his treasure and that he loves you. Remember, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead for you, you will be saved. And then you can say, he is risen and he has risen indeed. Not only on Easter Sunday, but every day of the year. Grace and peace to you from Grace and Peace to You Nuggets.